What's up guys, this is a video on how to fit an Alex drawer together from Ikea. So right guys, these are the actual drawers I've bought from Ikea and uh, I'll give you the cord number. So the cord number is 804.735.47. So these are the Alex drawers and you can actually have these as drawers or else you can use them to make uh, work tables so you'd have one on either side and you put a worktop on top so for now I've just ordered the drawers so I can work out what worktops I do need for these so the first thing we need to do is unpack the boxes and get them out in front of you so we can see what we're dealing with so right guys as you can see I've laid all mine out all together and I'm very lucky I've got the space to do this most likely you'll be doing one at a time depending on how many you're putting together so basically you just want to empty the box out lay everything in front of you like this and i'll show you how to lay it out so it's the best way to put it together so like i said just set everything out in front of you the only thing i've changed is the drawers i've just spun them around so i can connect things up easier when i'm showing you and uh, like I said about the sides of the unit, the Alex drawers, make sure on the left hand side, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an arrow there facing that way. And uh, just make sure it's facing that way and the screws are on this side over here. Same with the right side. Just make sure you've uh, got the arrows pointing out that way. And uh, the holes are on that side. There's only two tools we need and that's the hammer and the screwdriver that's the only two tools we need so right we're going to start putting it together the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab these big ones i'll show you what they look like so these are the big ones i've separated everything and uh, so it's easier to grab them all so right we're going to come across here we're going to bring the Phillips screwdriver just in case we need that I'll put a link in for the screwdrivers and the tools you need in the description but basically you just need a Phillips I've got this Stanley one here it's a multi-function one and I've got a, a hammer there what I've had for a long time so right so we're going to start off with these things here I'm just going to show you what they look like so this is what they look like and if you can see on this side over here there's an arrow and it's pointing that way Let's get a bit closer I don't know if it's it's not really focusing but I think you can see it there so basically these should be facing in a certain direction so what we're going to start off by doing first is we're going to start on the back of it here and we're going to make sure we put them in all these holes here these six holes and uh, we're going to face them outwards so this is going to face out that way and so, same with the other two at the top they're going to face outwards on this side they're going to face that way so all, all you do is to pop these and you just push them in even if they're not pointing in the right direction you can use your phillips and uh, point it in the right direction so that's what we're going to start doing so this is the next one i'm pointing this one into that direction there so that's that one and we're just going to work our way up so that one's facing that way that one's facing that way this one's facing that way and this one is facing that way next thing we're going to do is on the sides here on the bottom with the three big holes and at the top with the three big holes we're going to fit these in there next and these should be pointing downwards and the other ones at the top should be facing upwards to come out that way 
So I'm going to put this one in now. Can be a little bit awkward, just bear with it. What I'm going to do is on this side here, I'm going to do these at the same time. These are going to be pointing downwards. So just look at the arrows and make sure they're pointing downwards. But like I said, if you do make a mistake, you can use the Phillips screwdriver and turn them into the right place. So right, we're going to come to the top over here. And now we're going to point them towards the top here. So they're pointing upwards. So right, I'm going to do the next one. And same on the other side. So right, they're all in now. So that's all the uh, the big ones in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the small ones now. And we might as well put them in now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come around the other side. And these are the draw sides over here, all these panels. So what we wanna do, we wanna fit these in, but same principle again, we want to point them outwards on each of them. So I've got them all in my hand and I'm going to start doing that now. So just make sure they're pointing the right way. But like I said, you can use a Phillips screwdriver if you need to. Just push them down a little bit. I find it easier to do it this way than uh, start sticking all the things together afterwards. So again, we're just pointing them straight up outwards. Just need to do all these and then we can move on to the next step. Yeah, I like these head cams. They're a lot easier to show things. I am monitoring it at the same time while I'm using it. But it would be really hard to show this with a tripod. I hope it's coming up all right, but I can see it's not too bad. So right, I've just done the last three now. So right there, that's all of all of them in now. So right to the next step. What we're going to start doing here is we're going to grab these. And grab all them. Come to the front here. So right, we're going to start fitting these in and uh, I'll show you where they need to go as we go along. So now we just need the Phillips screwdriver. See if you can get one with a ratchet because it will make your life easier than a standard one. And basically what we're going to do is, if you look at these screws, they've got a Phillips on it. So we're going to start lining these up and putting them in. So, I'll see if I can get this in. So the first one's going to go on this side here. Now 
Next one's going to go here. So basically where they're going to go is where, where we put all the big metal ones in on the opposite sides of them. We'll put this one in now. And it's the same on the other side so we'll work our way up. Two more now at the top. So one goes in here. And then the next one goes up here. And this one. Let's put that down for a second. We'll grab these screws. Put them in front of me. So right, these are the drawers now, and we're going to start fitting them in here. So these are the big drawers, and uh, it, it works all the way down to the bottom, which are um, the small ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off from here, and uh, these go into the top here. just like to line these up in advance just makes it a bit more easier so on the bigger drawers you two on each side on the smaller ones you only put one on each side and uh, the other side ones are wooden doilies we'll put them in in a minute so we'll line these up now So then we we'll just need to tighten them up after. I don't know if I got that into frame, but move back a bit now. So over here, we've got this wooden doily thing. So we'll take uh, four of these. One, two, yeah, four. And we'll pop these into here. And just grab that hammer. Don't really need the hammer, but sometimes you can beat the S out of it. It might help. back so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start tightening all these up start tightening all these up one at a time just take your time try not to force it to the left or the right just force it, put the force straight downwards because you don't want to split it Then we're going to go on to the next one. There's always one. Get in there. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just need to tighten them up until they get to the flat bit and then they won't go any further. You can do this with an impact driver but it's not, it's not worth doing it with an impact driver, you can damage it by over tightening it. And they constantly spin round, so best 
to do it with a screwdriver so when you feel it's tight you can just stop. Right, that's all them in the drawers. Next we're going to fit them into the uh, tops and the bottoms. That's what we're going to do next. Right. Just grab these. I'm just going to work my way along onto this side. So right, we're going to fit these in. Um, this is the top and this is the bottom. How can you tell? Because the top's got the uh, pattern on it and the bottom hasn't got nothing. But you can use this as a top, I think it said in the instructions, if you're having a desk on it, but that's a different situation if you want to do that. You can put it opposite way around. So right, um, we're going to fit them in these now and these go in the top one here the middle one and the bottom one same on the opposite sides that's in the wrong spot that should be in the top And same on the bottom piece as well. We'll just place these in the right place and then we'll tighten them up afterwards. The bottom here. So right, we're going to tighten them up now. it a little bit better I'm just trying to keep an eye on the monitor as well and making sure just turn that one up do the one next to it at the same time Right, um, I've not actually got the worktops for these tables yet and the only reason why I haven't got them is because I don't know how far I'm going to space them out so depending on how wide uh, how far they are I might have to order some separate worktops from somewhere else because I don't think the standard ones are going to fit but yeah uh, the point I'm trying to get to is basically if you're going to do it through IKEA I think it said it said in the instructions that you're going to use this as a top and I think you use these four holes to screw through to connect the top up to the uh, worktop but at this moment in time I'm going to connect them the other way around I'm going to keep that as a top and that as a bottom when I do connect something up I can drill my own holes and fit it where I want to fit it so right that's all them in uh, the next 
step is to put the wooden doilies in and these are the actual um, screws what you would use to fit the top in so I think they go in there like so so we're not going to be using these at the moment so I'll just put them to the side so right we need these wooden bits now wooden doilies Ooh, what's that little scuff there I didn't notice that a bit there as well right um, next we're gonna fit these so I'm just gonna move this out of the way a little bit and move this out so make sure this is in frame so this is the side piece where we're gonna fit these is one on here one over here and it's the same on the other side of it as well and the same on this side here as well so we're gonna fit one here and one here I'm just gonna use a hammer and tap them in a bit same with this side don't need to hit them really hard next thing on the side here if you turn that over you can put one in there so it's not the first one it's the second one and the same over here it's the second one here use a hammer and tap them down gentle turn it over same on the opposite side So that's ready now. Um, these ones will fit on the top. So we need to slide that down a bit. We need to slide that down a bit. So this one again, same as the bottom. Make sure I'm getting that in the picture. So that goes in the second bit. And same here. So just grab the hammer. Same on the other side. Fit that over. Here. So we'll fit that over here in the second one. Where is it? over here and this one over here right I've got one left over so it's got to be a spare one or I've forgotten to put one in let me have a look so right I've put the ones in the drawers I'll put them in, I'll put them in. So this one's a spare one. Yeah, I've got them all in. So basically this is a spare one. Right. So right, we can start putting it together now. So the first thing we need to do to put it together is get our Phillips screwdriver. Get on the floor here. So first we're going to do is we're going to grab this side here and we're going to pick it up and turn it like this and basically this fit, these screw things are going to go into these holes on the side here where these metal things are. So just line them up and you'll notice that the wooden doilies will go into them holes on the side there. So just slide it all in. You give it a little tap if you need to. So I'm just going to give it a little tap like that on the side now. 
I'm not going to use the hammer because it will only damage it. So next get your Phillips screwdriver, put them into them and turn them to the right. And what that does, it locks them into place. So we're going to do that with the next one. So that's locked into place and then we'll do it with the next one. If you can see the gap in between, you'll see it'll pull it in. So there you go. That's locked into place. So we're going to do the same thing with the other side now. We're going to pull that up. We're going to line it up to the holes. And we're going to give it a little tap. Same again. Get the Phillips screwdriver, turn to the right. And that will lock it into place and tighten it. Same with the last one. So right, that's that done. Now we're going to fit the top and the bottom. Just move that here a bit. So like I said, we're going to use this one as a top. It's down to your preference what you're going to do. But same thing here. Um, I'll come on this side. So the metal things again, we're going to line them up with the screws. Everything should line up perfect. So I'm just going to do that now. Make sure these are lined up a bit. Once they're lined in place, just tap that in. Grab the bottom as well at the same time. And take that and do the same thing again. And just line it up into the holes. Just uh, make sure they're lined up before you start tapping. Next again, grab the Phillips screwdriver. and lock them into place. So again, if you can see that, we're gonna turn that to the right. I'll make sure if we've got it up. Sorry, not them ones, these ones on the side. So we're gonna turn these ones to the right and lock them into place. So that one's in. That one's done. Same on the uh, bottom piece. So we're doing the same thing again, we're just locking them into place. And here on this side as well, the top piece will lock that into place. The middle one. And the bottom piece. I'm just going to do this side over here. Right, we're halfway there. We're getting there. So that's the top. That's the bottom. So right guys, at this stage now you need to decide if it's going to be a standalone unit or if you can have a desktop on top of it. So some of them I'm going to have a desktop and some of them are going to be standalone. The ones I'm putting together so far they're going to be standalone but they might be desktops. I've uh, We've not quite decided yet which way they're going to go. But if you're going to make them into desktops what you need to do is put this side on the top of it and put the laminate side at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, I'll tilt it over. So basically you'll put the laminate side of the bottom because nobody's ever going to see that. So 
So on top of here, they've pre-drilled four holes, two here and two here, same on the other side. And on the worktop, if you can see here, they've made the holes in advance for you. So all you need to do is simply put the desktop on top, So you're going to put it on top and you're just going to line the holes up so you can see the four holes on the desktop and the four holes in the in the cupboard and you'll just put it on top like so and you'll line the holes up from underneath and uh, they supply you with eight screws like this and uh, an allen key as well and all you need to do is simply get underneath it don't know if this is going to come up, but it's a bit dark, but you line the holes up underneath and you simply screw them in and tighten them up. So it's pretty easy to put the desktop on top. So that's what you need to do is you need to decide if it's going to be a standalone or if it's going to be a desktop. Next step, depending on what wheels you've got, wheels or feet you've got, mine came with these. Come with these ones here. So these are just sticky back ones. You just peel them away. But you can get the ones with the screws in and uh, with the wheels on. And they've already pre-made the holes for them. So if you get the big ones, you just fit them on and screw them through. With the sticky ones, we'll just stick them on. I just tend to stick them over the middle of the outer holes. So that's one. That's two. So right, uh, like I said, we're halfway there now. We've got this together. The only thing we need to do next is do the drawers so all this has been tightened up everything's been fixed together like I said before it does say in the instructions that if you're gonna have a worktop on this you, you can fit this on the top and like I said there's the four holes for the screws for the worktop right these four holes here sorry for the worktop Right, we've got the legs in now. Just dash that there on the floor for a time here. So right, we'll stand this up. They do feel like pretty good quality, if you know what I mean. They don't feel cheap or anything. They are pretty solid and they are pretty heavy as well, believe it or not. What am I doing wrong with this desk? I mean this head cam, sorry. Right. Next, we're going to do the drawers. Hopefully it'll do a better job of keeping everything in frame. So right, we're going to take one of these. And then we're going to take from the pile the first one of these. So the whole, uh, the circle things are going to line up with the metal screws again. And we're going to put them in like that. Make sure the line matches up to the line of the drawer front as well. So right, we're going to do that now. So that's one. That's the next one. So we've got them again there. There you go. Again, we're going to get a Phillips screwdriver. 
Where the hell has he gone? There he is. Found it. Right, same principle again. We're going to tighten these up to lock them into place. Just need to turn them a little bit to the right and they just tighten and lock into place. Don't over tighten them. You'll know as soon as they've locked into place it goes really tight. So that's that. Next we're going to get one of these. Right, we're going to slide one of these in. So before we slide it in, make sure these curved ends go to the front of the drawings. So we'll turn it over this way. We'll put them in between them grooves and we'll slide it down. So as soon as you've got down, make sure it's in place like that. Next, we're going to grab one of these. And same thing again, we're going to make sure the groove line goes to this bottom. And we're going to fit it in the groove and slide it in to the gap on both sides. Once you've got it like that, just make sure it slots into a, these little grooves here. Same on this side as well. So right, that's in place now. Now we're going to fit it on its side like that. Make sure again that there's no gaps on either of these bottom bits. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab two of these plastic screw things. We're going to place one in the top, one in the bottom. Where's my trusty hammer? This is a good hammer this. I've had this hammer for 15 years. It's a good one. It's an E-Swing one. I think it's an American company. I'll put a link to it. So just drive them in and same on the other side. So we'll grab another two of these. And we'll drive these in. So right guys, that's one drawer together. So we're just going to place that to the side over here, out of the way. And now we're going to repeat that process on the next one. So we're going to get the next one, we're going to do the same. Turn it over the other way, get the other piece, same thing again, line it up and then tighten it up, turn it around this way, get another base for it, so make sure again that the, the uh, curved bits are pointing towards the drawer front. Slide them in. Just make sure it goes into the groove. I think that's in now. I hope it is. Right, next, grab the back of the drawer. The groove line goes in with the uh, piece of wood, so line that up. Just slide it in like that, just pull it apart a little bit gently. And then slot that in. And then do the same thing on the other side. So you can see there's no gaps in between there. Now we'll turn it to its side, grab a couple of more of them screw things again 
and we'll drive them in. Same thing again, we'll put them in there, just drive them in. So that's another draw ready. It's a beauty. Yeah, they are good quality, these IKEA drawers. So that's number two. So right, we'll get the next one. So this is another big one. And then it's the same thing again. So I'm not gonna talk through this one, I'm just gonna do it. Basing again, curved ends to the bottom, I mean to the front of the draw end. There's always one. the draw and we're going to slide that in a little, a little bit that's that one in that's that one a couple of these plastic screw things again So that's another draw. Finally, we're on the last two small ones. So we'll grab these. And it's the same thing again. Again, make sure the groove is lined up with the front of the draw. The metal lines up with the screw. And there's another hole there for the wooden dowly. So we just line that up like that. Then you tighten it up. Same thing on the other side. Put that in, line it up. And the same thing with this one. them two are ready, we'll get the bases. Put the backs on. these screws in B 
be a bit gentle with this one it's uh, a bit more weaker than the uh, bigger one so I just don't hit it too hard little draw sorted and this one why are you being awkward you there you go So right, that's the last draw done. Always a good sign when there's not many screws left. We've got just these screws left. And over here, that's a spare one. And like I said, these are for the uh, worktop, if you have them fitted. I'll deal with that so right we need these screws now the last bit of the uh, insulation so, right I'll turn it this way so we can see it so what we'll do is we'll start from the bottom first we'll pull the sliders out so we'll move the little drawers out of the way Get the big draw. Let's put these screws down for a minute. So what we want to do is we want to get them into these grooves here. Next what we need to do is slide these. So that they're up to the stage here on both sides. So I'm just going to slide and pull that, make sure it's in for there. So right, once you've done that, make sure they're fully pulled that way. Right, got to make sure this is in frame. So get one of them screws. There's a pre-drilled hole, you just put it through there and just push the bar a little bit and then tighten that up. That should be tightened in place, same with the other side. Put it through the pre-drilled hole. Just push the metal bar a bit and then tighten that up. the first draw done next we repeat the process until we get the all the drawers in so that's the next one now so another two screws through them holes and tighten them up just make sure when you uh, do put it together I did spin it around but the uh, biggest drawers go at the bottom and there right the uh, battery actually died out to put another one in so right back to the drawers we're tightening this up on this side yeah, like I was saying earlier, before I got cut off, just make sure you're there. Uh, 
the rails are in the right place and they're the right way up so basically just make sure that the little drawers are to the top and the big drawers are at the bottom so how you can tell that is by uh, it's closer to the top there than the other pieces I think So right, that's the next one. So this is the next big one. We're gonna fit that now. Another two screws. Next, a little drawer. So just make sure they're all the way across. Another two screws. So the holes are there. So if it is covered, but the holes are there, just have to move that little bit of a thing from the front of it so you can see the hole. So basically these just stop the drawers completely sliding out. Keep everything lined up. Just clicked into place, I heard it. Now the final draw. And the final two screws. Like I said before, I do like these there. Uh, Alex draws that's my opinion basically I do like them they do they are good quality and I've got to put a few more together yet so there you go guys the uh, drawers have been put together so that's what they look like I'm just having a look what we've got left so that's fine so that's what it looks like I'll let you have a look around it the back of it is a solid piece as well I do like that usually they do uh, most companies what they'll do is they'll use a flimsy piece like this well more flimsy than this and they use them on the back of it it's actually a thinner thinner piece than that so right that's the back of it that's the side of it
So yeah, I'm quite happy with them. Well, I'm gonna start putting the rest of these together. So, I'm gonna do that quickly now. to place. So like I was saying before, just make sure you've got it the right way around. So this is the actual top and this is the bottom. So you can see the gaps in between here. So the big drawers go in the bottom here and you can see this gets narrower. So the smaller drawers go at the top. So that's how you know if it's the top or the bottom on the sides. Right. Right, we'll turn this over and put the legs on. Scrub the legs. these together
Right, I'll do the next one. Again, looking at this, you can tell the bigger drawers go up here and the smaller drawer goes to the other side. So that side's the top, that side's the bottom. So as you can see they're pretty easy to put together Once you put one together they're pretty easy So I'm just putting them together with you So you can see how easy it is So as you can see, there's the first one, second one I just need to put the drawers in and this one I just need to put the drawers in and I'm getting there slowly. Um, so I hope this helps somebody out who's uh, putting one together and it makes it easier for them to put together. So if you want to stay and carry on watching me put everything together then by all means carry on because that's what I'm going to do now so like I said before they are really good quality these they're thicker than the normal the normal ones
top, bottom.
Where are my hammer? Next. So you can tell, like I said, which is the top and the bottom. So if you notice the gap in between here and in between here and here, this is bigger gaps and then it gets narrower. So you know that's the top and that's the bottom. So with that, we'll uh, Start putting them together. Weird.
top bottom
and the last one seem to be getting there bottom
right guys that's how you put the alex drawers together and uh basically my battery run out so i couldn't complete the video but you get the gist of it so right guys i hope this helps somebody out who's uh putting them together and uh thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye